today's tutorial, I will show you how to create and connect OpenStack instance with SSH Keypair. To do this, uh, we have to follow these uh, following steps. First step is to create new volume of 20 or 25 GB. How to create a new volume, I have already shown on my previous tutorial. And here I have uh, created few volumes. So you can see there are uh, three volume created and each volume size is 25 GB. And all three volumes are now free to use because the status is in available state. So I can go for the next step. Next step is to create the image that you want to use. Here I am using Ubuntu Cloud Image and I will suggest you to use the Ubuntu Cloud Image if your OpenStack is installed on any Ubuntu operating system. And uh, next step is to create the key from terminal using following command. You can uh, directly use this command from your terminal or you can copy this command from this location. Click on key pair. Click on, uh, there, there is no key pair exists so click on import key pair. Type the name of your key pair. I am uh, typing here cloud key. And this command is here. You can copy this command and type from your terminal. Just. For empty password, just click enter two times. Now, if I type ls, you can see the two key are created cloud.key is private key and cloud.key.pub is public key so fourth step is click on the input key button from key pair link and paste the public key now i have already created the key pair and uh, next part is to paste the public key where so first copy the public key get cloud dot key dot pub okay this is our public key copy and paste it here okay next click on the import key pair Okay, our new key pair is created and I can go for the next step. Uh, to uh, work uh, SSS properly, you have to execute this command evil SSS is it. Copy and paste here. Okay, our agent is created and I can go for the next step. Next step uh, is to create a new instance using this key pair or newly created key pair that is cloud key. So click on instance. Click launch instance. Okay. Type the name of your instance here. I am giving it web server. Sorry. Web server. Click next. Choose image and click no here. I will use my existing volume. So click no. And choose Ubuntu cloud image which is already created before next 
choose minimum 1 GB RAM and 10 GB disk space. Up. It is selected. Next. 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 And uh, our uh, only one key pair is selected. Next. And now you can click on launch instance. Our new instance is creating. Wait for some time. Okay. Our instance is running now. Now I will attach an existing tree volume, attach volume. I have shown you before that I have three free volumes. Uh, I am choosing B25 one attach volume. Okay, our new volume is attached. Next step is to associate a floating IP. You can create any new IP from this location or you can use any existing floating IP which have already created before. I am creating new IP here so click on plus button. Allocate IP. Okay, our new IP is created 10.0.2.230. Now associate. Okay, our IP is associated. And next, you have to run the console to, to make the instance in registers. It is working now. Okay, when this skin appears, that means your instance is now ready to use. Uh, here, I am again checking the floating IP of our instance. The floating IP is 10.0.2.230. So, copy the IP. And go for the next step. Step 7 is completed. Create a new instance using this key. And step 8. 8, 9, and 10. Okay. Step is 8 is to paste the public key into the authorized key files. Where is authorized key file? Authorized key file is under home folder then dot shs folder and authorize this is our authorize key file click on it if it contain any data just remove the data and save there is another file known host 
if it contains any data then also make it empty okay save and uh, next step is to copy the cloud.key.pub files into authorized key files so cp cloud dot key dot pub to home slash stack stack is our current username you can use your username slash dot sh slash authorized authorized key authorized keys this is a uh, sorry underscore what happened authorized underscore is our file is copied uh, any permission problem arise then you just type sudo before the cp okay i can go for the next step now run sh at cloud dot key run the following command to add the identity sh is add hyphen at cloud dot key okay identity added go for the next step and our final step to connect the instance with ssh command so i am typing here ssh hyphen i cloud dot key and our instant ip address uh, is 10.0.2.230 so I and the default username of Ubuntu Cloud Image is Ubuntu. So at first type the username Ubuntu Ubuntu at 10.0.2.230. Now enter. Now type yes and wait for the connection. Our instance is connecting now it is connected here you can see Ubuntu is the username and web server is our instance name this is the instance name now uh, you can create a root username by using uh, uh, Linux command to connect as a root user in the next tutorial, I will show how to install Apache server in this instance. Goodbye for now.